All right, so in version 2039, um, there was a question about repeats. So I've been running it since 312, and um, I'm running it from this one category. It only has 25 songs in it, and they are roughly right around a minute each. So that's 25 minutes of runtime. Okay, so if I add 25 minutes to 12, I'm gonna get um, 37. So around 37 after, I should get a repeat. But the question is, is it repeating now? Okay, so far, I don't see any repeats. I got the history, or not history, um, playlist. Well, not that one. Let me go back over here to Auto DJ. Since Auto DJ, everything is set to 60 minutes. So, except for the album, is at 30. And I said keep three in the playlist. Okay. So that's what we're looking at. That's why it's only three in the playlist. That's how I like to do it. And I'm looking to see if any of these numbers have repeated and they have not so far. I cleared out the history and just let it run. Okay. So I'm still waiting on that to happen. Now, someone else asked a question about turning the events on and off. So let's look at that. I got this thing called low commercial block. Let's set it for 31 F. Okay, so you see it flashing because it just went below the one minute mark. If I hit the red knob, stop events, you know, enable or stop them. Okay, they both are flashing. This is how it used to work. It, de it, de it doesn't stop this from happening. It doesn't stop it from flashing and counting down. But when it gets to zero, nothing should happen. So that means because this is flashing, it's stopping the event from happening. So we're going to do it with it, you know, with it pausing the events. It doesn't necessarily pause them. They still go through the countdown. It just doesn't do anything when it gets to the end of the countdown. Here we go. All right. Nothing happened. Okay. See, there was no commercial that loaded up to the top of the queue. So let's do the same thing. And let's go for 32 after. Or yeah, 32 after is cool. Okay, so this time I'm not gonna stop or disable the events. So that function still works. All right, so we got eight, 12, 22. I don't see any of those in there. So, so far, no repeats. It's been um, 20 minutes, maybe. All right, that's the wife. I had to pick it up. Okay, CC. That time the commercial loaded up. So yes, the enable events and disable events does work. Um, but again, like I say, it's not gonna stop it from flashing and counting down. It's still gonna do that. It's just that when it gets to zero, it's not gonna do anything. All right, so I'm gonna pause this video, go pick up the wife, come back. We'll see how far we got. We only have a few more minutes. We got about five more minutes. Um, let's see, 20, 08, 12. I don't see any of those numbers over here, 20, 08, or 12. Okay. So no repeats. Now, let me look at the, the rotation. What I normally, what I do, this is release recently played okay so i did do that um this is what it's set to least 
recently played. So when I come back and re you know do the video again, we're going to look at it from the standpoint of least times played, random, because those selections make a difference. All right, I'm back. It took much longer than I anticipated. So we started out, so I don't even see the repeat. Now, because I only have 25 tracks in this category, I'm expecting it to repeat. And they're about a minute a piece. So I'm expecting it to repeat after 25 minutes. So since I was gone longer than I needed to, I'm going to go to reports and look at what happened. And what I want is a, a detailed report. We'll leave it at HTML. And we want it just for today. Okay. And it's nothing but music. So we'll leave it on all tracks. So let's see if we can see when it, when it's repeating all right so it's going in order from three o'clock that's when we started uh, we see these numbers so if it started at around what is this 312 and we said we added 25 minutes because each thing is um one minute and of course i see some the commercials are in there as well so I'm going to say 25 minutes. So if I add 25 minutes to 15, 12, I'm going to get 15, 37. So if I go down to 15, 37 or thereabouts, which is right here, I should see the first repeat, which is actually the first one. So it's right, it's right on target. See this O2 right here? That's the same as this O2. So it's right on target, right at, because what happens is if you run out of tracks, then it starts all over again. And it looks like they're pretty much in the same order. Yeah, pretty much. And the reason why is because of the rules. It's forcing them to go in the same order because of the rules. Now let's see. Oh, six here. Okay. Yeah. So there it kind of, it's kind of repeating itself, which is not a problem because if it, um, if we had way more tracks, then that wouldn't be an issue. But I told you the track rotation is set to least recently played. A lot of times I do least times played when I make my um, rules. But let's see what happens when we go to random because random, a computer is never really random, unfortunately. It is, but you can get a lot of the same stuff. Okay, so I'm going to clear the queue and let's see if random is going to be truly random. And I'm going to clear out the history. Of course, it's going to load a commercial block. Also, a load of commercial in here. Okay, and so we see the change up here. I'm pretty sure this is a different change up. So the question is, is it is it gonna follow the rules when it's in random mode? I'm thinking it should, but we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it run for a little while and come back and look at the history list to see if we have any repeats. Be back in a second. 
All right, after letting it run for a little bit, you see we have two, um, two 21s with a song in between. So random, even though the rules are don't play the same song, artist, and title for 60 minutes, it did it anyway. Now, one of the things, that's why I don't use random, but one of the things you can do is on each rotation line, you can have rules. So I can put rules here as well. save down here okay let's clear out the queue see it's still brought back 21 matter of fact this time it made it next okay then we have 11 19 and 23 i don't see any of those over there let's clear the queue 20 14 and 17 so there's a 17 and there's a 14 so random random the a computer really can't do random and it should obey the rules but it's not obeying the rules okay so when i go to options and auto dj see my rules it's not obeying the rules of 60 minutes and it's not obeying the rules of track rotations So I never use random on my stations because I know random apparently does not follow the rules. I normally go with least times played. And I like least times played because it forces Radio DJ to find a song with the least number of spins. And it chooses one of those. Now it can get into a pattern See, it was forced to look for songs that have least amount of spins and it's following the rules probably more so there's an 18 a 25 and a 22 and we don't have any of those yet so if you're doing rotations or if you're doing your rules especially in rotations don't use random don't ever use random i don't even know why it's there because it's not it's not a good um logic even when you create programs that pick random numbers, you a lot of times you get the same numbers when you run the program. So random just, to me, has never really worked. Even with Sam Broadcaster, some of the others, random just never really worked. So with Radio DJ, least times play um, is my favorite, but I have thousands of songs. So it takes a it takes a month to go through all of those songs. Meaning when I'm pulling from a category that say has, I don't know, three thousand songs in it or less, it can be less. It's gonna take a, a about thirty days for each song in that category category to, to be played once before it starts repeating. Now if I got another rotation that's pulling from that same category during another um time it may pull songs that from that category but as far as pulling from that that particular rotation pulling from that particular subcategory when i do least times played and i got a lot of songs in there all of those songs have to pl play at least once before it repeats so to me least times played is the better option and i don't just don't use random. That's all I can say. Don't use random. Because you can see, we have not yet repeated any of the things over here in the history yet. We got 05, 08, 22. We haven't repeated any of them yet. And I'm using least times played. When I did random, so I'm doing least times played. When I did random, random didn't care. So... 
I'm under the impression that maybe random doesn't listen or obey the rules. Okay, so we got an O2. Okay. Hope that helps with those that are um, struggling with the repeats. Go with least times played. And don't ever use random. Hope that helps.